Hi guys, this is Fidelma from Gold Crafty Bits. I just said I'd show you this very um, simple booklet I did. It's it's a pamphlet stitch booklet. Um, three holes, very, very simple. So it starts off with a little card um, mandala that I, that I printed out. And the girl that I did this for, she loves pink, it's her favorite color. So um, I said I'd do the cover in pink and I just put a little um, fairy in the front and then this just card cardstock inside of just a little pocket here again another little fairy and then she has a bookmark just to um, you know to put in her page as she goes along and um, just took that in there then this is a tea stained page with little stencils on the, the sides of it the corners of it and this is just ordinary um, marbled paper that um that I had in stock. I don't know where I got it. I have it so long. Did a little bit of stenciling here as well. Then this is graph paper. The girl that I'm doing it for uh, loves mats and she is actually studying mats. So I said I'd put in some graph paper for her with some little um stenciled hearts. Um just put a little bit of ink around the sides of this. Uh, it's just ordinary paper, cop kind of photocopy paper. Red photocopier paper, then this um, thicker paper, I think it's 120, and I did stenciled lines on it so she can kind of journal on it if she wants. And then this is onion dyed paper. <clears throat> I said I'd leave that plain because it's it's very um, colourful itself, or you know, patterned, I suppose the word. Then I did a little bit of stenciling along the side of this pink card, then some nice. Um, pink papers and um, patterned paper and I did a little bit of stenciling on the back and this is coffee dyed paper again this will be about 120 gms paper and um, some mats um copy or mats yeah from a mats copy book and then some brown packaging paper and then this is more i think this is coffee dyed one is tea and one is coffee i can never tell the difference between them and then this is more graph paper it's the center of it's it's only one signature um little booklet then you have <coughs> the reverse side then i did a little bit of stenciling here and it comes out the back here and then this is the the uh, brown paper and i just folded it over because that was the width that it was and i thought it would be just um you know put a little bit of interest in it <coughs> more uh, matte copy paper onion dyed paper a little bit of stenciling on the patterned pink paper that I have here, pink card, oops, and there's a little bit of stenciling on the side of it here, onion dyed paper. You can see this kind of um when I when I was dyeing it I just you know put some water on it just to um or just put put the onions on it I should say just to make it um different. And then you have the stenciled paper here again that's the back of the red um paper copier paper there light that's a light paper and then we're back to the graph paper again i did a little bit of stenciling here and then this the marbled paper i did stenciling here on this and that i think that's beautiful paper back to the tea dyed um bit of stenciling in the back of it and then a little pocket at the back with this small little bit of paper i thought it was really pretty paper um kind of a party paper i just folded it up and put it in there and that's it. That's the end of it. That's the card again. And then there's a lighter card with the mandala on the back. And like if she wants to, she can just um, um, glue that down, um, you know, in, in the back. I wouldn't do it in the front because you're covering up the little, the little um, fairy if you do that. And then, of course, uh, for her bookmark, I've put some pink uh, ribbons and a little bit of purple ribbon, a little bit of lace. And then this novelty wool as well. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, put some comments down in, below this video. If you want to see anything that I've done in it. If you want me to show you. Just let me know. Thank you. Bye.